Hey guys, in this video, I will show you guys how you can create a full screen pages. And then we're going to turn this page into something like this. And this is all done using just one simple Tailwind utility. It's called Snap Utility. And I will show you guys how you can do this the easiest way possible. In this video, I will show you how you can utilize the Snap utility function from Tailwind to create whole page screens uh, that allows you to you know make a full screen page and have a snapping effect when you move on to the next page so let me give an example of what we're trying to do so if we search for scroll snap type see the snap utility here we're going to start with y then look into x over here they do have an example of horizontal axis the x-axis here so right now if you try to scroll down this is what you'd see so yeah to start let's just add snap y then we can add a height of screen width of screen to start and then let's say you want a few full pages let's start with one so we can again do snap start to begin then a background of yellow 200 a height of screen width of screen as well this will show the whole page let's just add one here uh, you can see it's very small and it's at the top let's just add flex item center justify center to move it to the middle then add a text of 5xl yeah that's good enough 5xl so we can copy this and then do three of them we can make it as two then as three Let's change it to blue then green so now this is a whole page number one number two number three now as you can see the snapping isn't really working so we are missing two part that is one snap mandatory and the other one is overflow so if you add this to you'd see the snapping functionality working as expected. This is my trackpad using it. Now if I use my mouse, it goes really fast. Not the best effect with the mouse, but yeah, that is, it makes sure, you know, you don't stop in the middle and you just directly go to the second screen or whatever you have here. Now the other thing I notice is that this horizontal bar is also showing up so we don't want that instead of doing an auto let's just do x hidden so yeah this hide it and now you only have the vertical one so there you go okay now let's say you don't want the vertical one instead you want a horizontal effect so it is very easy to change as well you simply change this to x and if you just save it it don't do anything because this isn't a flex so it will still have you know one one screen on top of another so let's just add flex here see what happens so if you add flex you can see three three different windows stacked up together we don't want that we want this as a whole screen right so let's just do flex shrink zero now you can see the other one is hidden and you can also do the same this as well so now it actually stopped working and uh, it's because even though you added the flex shrink zero it shows the overflow of x to be hidden we can just instead hide it as on y and that should give us the scroll option again so now this will work just like before instead of 
you know using it on the vertical one it's just going to work on horizontal effect as well all right guys so i was thinking what would be you know some use cases of this or where would you use it on your site so i was thinking to make something you know similar to this so let's say we create a half and half page the first half page is fixed the other half you know it has a f it has a scrolling effect on the side so this thing stays fixed and this one moves up and down so let's just get rid of everything here and let's just remove this as well so we can start by creating a flex a height of screen and a background of white although it was already white but i still wanted to add it anyway so let's create the half and half section so let's first give it a width of half here then height of screen as well this is the first tab and this is the second half just to check that this one is working we can add a background of black here so as you can see now this one is a black so so i wanted to keep a fixed you know image here so i'm just going to since we're not adding anything else so i'm just going to add it as a background here so it's just going to be background and then you can use the use your url functionality so you can you know paste any url here it can be any unsplash image or anything i just have one on my asset section so i'm just going to use that so let's just give dot slash assets slash main dot png this is what it looks like now in order to fix this we can do background center then background repeat uh, repeat no repeat yes so this should be on the center and it's not going to repeat anymore pretty self-explanatory so now let's work on the other side of the page so this is the side going to work so let's start by creating a div inside here this is where all the snap functionality is going to add so let's just do class name and then do oh I forgot to add snap y then snap mandatory and then we can do overflow y scroll so so that we know there is a scroll bar here let's just do snap start and then height of screen and we already added the background black so that's good so yeah snap start height of screen and then what else do you need we need to we need flex we need justify center and item center to make it look pretty and inside here so this would be you know my first one and then we will copy this three times to have three you know three uh, whole screen whole screen there so let's just do another tip and put the contents inside here last one again flex now i was thinking we have three you know three text here so I'm just going to do flex and then flex column and items to start instead of center then just give text white now let's do a p tag yeah. class name text 8xl let's make it large and inside here I'm just going to add pro dot PR and beyond so there you go looks already better here and just copy one more instead of 8xl let's just do 4xl so that it looks better and let's just add 
what should we add? Let's just add iPhone 13 Pro. It looks too close together, so let me just add some padding of 10. There you go, looks much better. Let's just copy one more, and this time around, let's just do 2XL. And let's just add a display that's up to 2X brighter than a sun. If I can spell this right. So this looks way too padding here so I'm just going to remove this because we are all we're already getting 10 from top and down here so this looks much better now this was the first one so you can add as many as you want I'm just going to add three and change a bunch of text there this is the second one and this is the third one now this should already look better as you can see the snapping already looks good but let's just change up a few words to ensure you know this looks better so on the second one it's going to do 24 frames let's just add a second and text that says now shoots in 4K at 24 frames per second. And we can also, you know, change the color here if we want. So I'm just going to have a background of black, but instead of full black, we're just going to have an RGB color so that should okay this looks like the same oh, that's because it's added here so we can instead add it here so, so, so now this is what it looks like on the first one this is what we have on the second one the last one is this so let's just add a black color here as well so, well this looks better so for the last one, let's just do 80. Yep. And then change a few text. So we can do privacy in mind. Just tab six. And let's just add Apple control beyond imagination. So yeah, this is what we got. You can change it to eight if you want. So yeah. So there we have it. It's a really simple project. It's just utilizing one snap utility of Tailwind. And that's what we did here. So it just goes up and down like this. Now, if you want, you can also add horizontally like to go left and right over either on this side or on that side. It's entirely up to you if you want something like this. So with that, this is the end of this video. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you do like this content, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel.